So, I'll kick it off, Jonathan Carl. Uh, so, uh, Sean, uh, day before yesterday, you said you were extremely confident that uh, the House and Senate Intelligence Committees would ultimately vindicate the president's allegation that Trump Tower was wiretapped, as I'm sure you have now seen. The Senate Intelligence Committee has said they see no indications Trump Tower was the subject of surveillance. That seems to be a pretty blanket statement. What's your reaction? Well, I, I think there are several things. I would also, it, it's interesting to me that, you know, just as a, as a point of interest, that when, when one entity says one thing that, uh, that proves, that claims one thing, you guys cover it ad nauseum. When Devin Nunez came out and said, I think it's very possible, yesterday, there was crickets from you guys. When Devin Nunez came out and said there was no connection that he saw to Russia, crickets. When Tom Cotton said the same, you don't want to cover the stuff. No, no, hold on. No evidence no. of wiretapping at Trump Tower. So now you've had the House Intelligence Committee and the Senate Intelligence Committee. No, no, actually, here's this quote, Jonathan. No, no, here's the direct quote. I think it's very possible, end quote. That's what he said when he said the president's communications could have been swept up in collection. So, again, I, there was no, no, I saw no indication of wiretapping. I understand that. No and, I think, and, and I think the president's been very clear when he talked about this, and he talked about it last night. When we talked about wiretapping, he meant surveillance. And that there have been incidents that have occurred. Devin Nunes couldn't have stated it more beautifully. But you choose not to cover that part. You chose not to cover when Tom Cotton went out, when Richard Burr went out, when others, Chairman Nunes and others, and said well, that the there was Senate no. Hold on. I, no, I, I understand no that, Jonathan. And where was your passion and where was your concern when they all said that there was no con no connection to Russia? Where was it then? You had you crickets from you guys because at the end of the so day the when the, no, no 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 hold on hold on I'm hold on hold on I'm making a point the point is this number one that it's interesting how when evidence comes out and people who have been briefed on the Russia connection come out and say that there was nothing that they have seen that proves a connection you choose not to cover that you don't stop the narrative you continue to perpetuate a false narrative when he came out yesterday and said quote I see no evidence that this happened when he said quote I think it's very possible but like I said we should know later you don't cover that part you only cover the parts that this is but let's go through what we do know okay I hold on hold on let me and I am trying to answer your question Jonathan if you can calm down if you look at what the New York Times reported on January 20, 20, 20 12, 2017 they said quote in its final days the Obama administration has expanded the power of the National Security Agency to share globally intercepted personal communications with the government's 16 other intelligence agency before applying privacy protections the new rules significantly relax long-standing limits on what the NSA may do with the information gathered by its most powerful surveillance operation which are largely unregulated by wiretapping laws when Sarah Carter reported that by the start of the new year brought with it unexpected politicizing of the intelligence Intelligence gathered in secret. Separately, the Obama administration amended a long-standing executive order allowing information intercepted through FISA warrants or by the National Security Agency to be shared by a wider audience in 16 government agencies as Obama was leaving offices. Intelligence normally reserved for just a handful of intelligence leaders was spread throughout briefings of, to scores of workers, and soon leaks began appearing in news media organizations, often in stories lacking context of how national security investigations are actually concluded. On March 3rd, Fox News Chief, Poli Chief Anchor Brett Baer said the following, quote, There's a report in t June 2016, a FISA request by the Obama administration for an intelligence surveillance court to monitor communications involving Donald Trump and several other campaign officials. Then they got turned down, then in October. Then they renewed it and do a startup wiretap at Trump Tower with some computer and Russian banks. Baer continues, a June FISA request that foreign intelligence surveillance courts get shot down. A judge says, hold on, Jonathan, I'm gonna, you can ask, you can follow up. A judge says no go to monitoring Trump Tower. They go back in October. They do get a FISA granted. This is wiretap going on in a monitoring of computers that is sometimes they believe to a Russian counts. By all accounts, they don't come up with anything in the investigation, but the investigation continues and we don't know it. On November 11, 2016, days after the election, Heat Street reported, quote, two separate sources with links to the counterintelligence community had confirmed to Heat Street that the FBI saw and was granted a FISA warrant in October, giving counter-surveillance intelligence permission to examine the activities of U.S. persons in Donald Trump's campaign with ties to Russia. The first request, which sources say named Trump, was denied back in June, but the second was drawn more narrowly and granted in October after evidence was presented of a server, possibly related to the Trump campaign and its alleged links to two banks, SVB Bank and Russia's Alpha Bank. Sources suggest that a FISA warrant was granted to look at the full context 
of related documents that concern U.S. person. Two separate sources with links to the counterintelligence community have confirmed that the FBI saw it and was granted a FISA warrant in October giving counterintelligence permission to examine the activities of U.S. persons in Donald Trump's campaign with ties to Russia. They go on. The, F the FISA warrant was granted in connection with the investigation of suspected activities between the server and two banks. However, it is thought that the intelligence community that the warrant covers any U.S. person connected to this U.N. investigation and thus covers Donald Trump and at least three further men who have either formed part of his campaign or acted as media surrogates. On January 19th, the New York Times reported the following. American law enforcement and intelligence agencies are examining intercepted communication and financial transactions as part of a broad investigation of possible leaks between Russian officials and associates of President-elect Donald J. Trump. One official said intelligence reports based on some of the wiretapped communications have been provided to the White House. It is unclear which Russian officials under investigation or what particular conversations caught the attention of American eavesdroppers. The legal standard for opening these investigations is low. Uh, Andy McCarthy, writing in National Review, suggested, quote, from three reports from The Guardian, Heat Street, and The New York Times, it appears the FBI has concerns about a private server in Trump Tower that was connected to one or two Russian banks. Heat Street describes these concerns as centering on, quote, possible financial con uh, uh, and banking offenses. I italic this is his quote, I italicize the word offenses because it denotes crimes. Ordinarily, when crimes are suspected, there is a criminal investigation, not a national security investigation. Budget day. We go on. Um, Sarah Carter. Um, most of you are reporting. Talking. Intelligence professionals tell Circa News they were concerned that some of the Russian intelligence was spread through group briefings to a much larger than usual audience back in January. This would have happened during the final days of the Obama administration when it expanded Executive Order 12333, which allows employees with a, quote, need to know, have further unfettered access to raw data stowed by the NSA. The new rules allowed the NSA to share, quote, raw signals intelligence information, including the names of those involved in phone conversations and emails. The expansion of the order makes it difficult to narrow in on the leaks, and frankly, it allows too many people access to the raw data, which only used to be available to a select few, said a U.S. official who spoke on the condition of anonymity and was not granted to speak on the authority. Numerous outlets, including the New York Times, have reported on the FBI investigation into Mr. Trump's advisors, BBC, and then McClatchy revealed the existence of, multi of a multi-agency working group to coordinate investigations across the thing. On February 14th, the New York Times again refers to phone records and intercepted calls. Uh, let me quote them. American law enforcement intelligence agency intercepted the communications around the same time they were discovering the evidence that Russia was trying to disrupt the presidential election by hacking into the Democratic National Committee, three officials said. The intelligence, Russian, the intelligence agencies then thought to learn whether the Trump campaign was colluding with the Russians on hacking or other efforts to influence the election. The officials interviewed in, we, in recent weeks said that so far they have seen no evidence of such cooperation. The officials said that the intercepted communications were not limited to Trump campaign officials and other associates of Mr. Trump. The call logs and intercepted communications part, are, are part of a larger trove of information that the FBI is sifting through. Days later, the New York Times then reports, quote, in the Obama administration's la last days, some White House officials scrambled to spread information about Russian efforts to undermine the presidential election of Donald Trump, connections between the president-elect and Russians across the government. But the increasingly hard to escape conclusion that in our government were inc that individuals in our government were instead trying to undermine the new president by saying, quote, and this is the New York Times again, at intelligence agencies there was a push to process as much raw intelligence into possible analysis to keep the report at relatively low classification levels to ensure a widespread readership across the government, and in some cases, quote, among them European allies. This allowed the upload of as much information, intelligence as possible, to Intellipedia, a secret wiki used by American analysis to share information. Uh, Sean Hannity went on on Fox to say, quote, but protections which are known as minimization procedures have been put in place to protect Americans that are not under warrant, American citizens that are caught up in their surveillance. And, quote, by the way, their identities are protected. Their constitutional rights are being protected. Now, of course, this was not the case with Lieutenant General Flynn because, no, a transcript of his call was created and then given to intelligence officials who then re leaked this information, which is a felony, to the press that printed it, end quote. Last, on Fox News, on March 14th, Judge Andrew Napolitano made the following statement, quote, three intelligence sources have informed Fox News 
the President Obama went outside the chain of command. He didn't use the NSA. He didn't use the CIA. He didn't use the FBI. And he didn't use the Department of Justice. He used GCHQ. What is that? It's the initials for the British Intelligence Spying Agency. Uh, they, so simply by having two people saying to them, President needs transcripts of conversations involving candidate Trump's conversations involving President elect Trump, he's able to get it. And there's no Ameri uh, American fingerprints on this. Putting the published counts and common sense together, this leads to a lot. So, Sean, are you so saying John. that despite the findings, the bipartisan findings of the Senate Intelligence Committee? No, they're not findings. They're two, they're, there's a statement out today. They have not begun this. As you know, yesterday, the, or two days ago, the Department of Justice asked for an additional week. So they, they, the statement clearly says that at this time, that they don't believe that. They have yet to go through the information. The Department of Justice, as you know, has not supplied this. But I've just read off to you. It's interesting. When the New York Times reports, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I, I get, let's do the whole long answer. Thank you. Appreciate question. it. Okay. So uh, are, are you saying that the president still stands by his allegation that President Obama ordered wiretapping or surveillance of Trump Tower despite the fact that the Senate Intelligence Committee says they see no That's, indication but, that it happened. Does the president still stand no, by the first allegation? First of all, he stands by it, but again, you're mischaracterizing what happened today. No, the they, Senate, they no, no, I know. No, no, the, the, exactly the, from their statement. I understand that. And the, the, at the same time, they acknowledge that they have not been in, in contact with the Department of Justice. So, but at the, at the, again, I go back to what I said at the beginning. It's interesting. Hold on. Hold on. It's interesting how, at the same time, where were you coming to the defense of that same intelligence committee and those members when they said there was no connection to Russia? You didn't seem to report it then. There was no, no, no. So you want, hold on, you want to comment and you want to perpetuate a false narrative. Actually, I when, when, report that Clapper said that. I, I but but when those individuals have gone out time and time again, when Chairman Nunes has said, number one, that there was no information that he's aware of that that existed, that got zero reporting. Number two, when he went out yesterday and said, quote, I think it's very possible, you don't include that in the question mark. The bottom line is, is that the president said last night that he will be providing, that there would be additional information coming forward. He's, there's a ton of media reports out there that indicate that something was going on during the 26th election. And I think it's interesting. Where was the questioning of the New York Times or these other outlets when that was going on? Where was the question? I, I believe you will. Jim. Yeah, you were just quoting uh, Sean Hannity there.